What do you got there, Roman? I got myself some boots. They even got a cross on the back. I can go to cowboy church, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna take a few yucca plants out first. Good, sir. I'm Andre. I feel like I know you because I've seen you on on YouTube. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. So what, what do you think? Look at this bad boy. Oh, wow, dude. dude. This is incredible. I'll do anything you want right Well, I was hoping to get you guys a wheel loader, but I, I just... Know. This is, this is the oh, yeah. I haven't I been able to find one that no, no, I no. think will this work is, for you guys. So. Oh, this is anything bigger, <laughs> you'd be way above our pay grade. Okay, cool. <laughs> but you can... So you can dig, basically this will extend out. Yeah. Um, and you guys will be able to dig down like 20 foot wow. if you need to. The disadvantage of the backhoe is like if you have a wheel loader, yep. you can move dirt a lot faster from point A to point B. Yeah. This thing is gonna be a little bit more bouncier and things like that, but it's more utilitarian. Yeah. So so it, it should work. Oh, so, yeah. so David was saying that the, the trick is dig it up, push it over, dig it up. We're, so we're building a barn, right? Yeah. That's the first thing and we have to build a flat piece of um, ground basically and so yeah. he said this is perfect for that yeah so we dug post holes last week okay uh just to see what the rock was doing and we yep. kind of figured that it kind of goes at a steep slope down and then it's really good dirt okay so we're just going to leave all the rock where it's at sure and then just move soil okay yeah, so, perfect yeah this yeah. is a big boy roman <laughs> it is a big boy it's not a, it's not a small backhoe you guys brought a big truck to haul it yeah. which is cool <laughs> we brought the right we, truck. we brought the yeah. the biggest one we could <laughs> yeah <laughs> the, the haul this you're saying it weighs about twenty two thousand pounds yeah yeah that's a lot twenty two twenty three thousand and how which john deere is this? how old is it kind of what's the what's so the model? it's a 2008 yeah. john deere 410 j okay so it's an older series but the j series yep. is really good really reliable it's a low hour machine for the vintage it only has 2,000 hours yeah. Yeah. Um, it would be hard to find another you know vintage machine with only 2,000 hours it's in this good a condition it could use some tires but I figured I'd let you guys beat it up okay yeah. and then we'll put yeah. new tires on it when we get it back from yeah. you guys and this is four-wheel drive it's four-wheel okay. drive yeah okay. it's four-wheel right. drive it has a locking differential it's on the floorboard so when you need it you stop the machine stomp on the diff okay then it'll go into right. and lock it, I think this also has ride control, which basically means when you have a, a load in the bucket, there's an accumulator system that's charged with nitrogen, it acts like a cushion. And so instead of it being full rigid and locked out, it will float. So if you have a load in the bucket and you hit a bump, right. the bucket will float. Oh, so you won't lose the load. Cool. cool. So Alan, you rent these, right? Oh, uh, we primarily sell so, them. Okay, so, so if somebody wanted to buy this, how much would it cost? Um. Sixty-five thousand. Oh, so sixty-five yeah. thousand. Yep, sixty-five. Okay. Yeah. All right. And that's your yep. business model: is you source them out, you you buy them, refurbish them, yep. put new tires, new teeth, yep. whatever it needs, and then and then resell, resell them. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then yeah. uh, how about uh, I think it runs on diesel. What's the engine under there? What's the? It's a John yeah. Deere. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna forget the model right now. It's basically an inline four okay. turbo um, diesel. Turbo diesel. diesel. Okay. John Deere. Probably a hundred, hundred and ten horse. Hundred. 110, 120 horse turbocharged. I take it the seat turns around, right? So if you want to use it traditional way, you face forward, and if you want to use the back hole, you turn it around. Yeah, and you then... turn it around. This has what they call the wobble stick um, configuration to run the rear back hole. Okay. Um, it's not a joystick, so the joystick I think people probably favor, but this has less issues. Well, I'm used to a four stick, a Ford. I've got a 1975 Ford. I know off. exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> and I'm used to four sticks. <laughs> yeah. So we'll just have to get That'll be two way sticks. Easier. Yeah. Do you want to jump in here and, yeah, and, and take a look? Take a look. Okay. Yeah, go yeah. for it. Yeah. And you know, when you're, if you, if you've got a backhoe, you probably know this, but when you're traveling, you want to lock this lock out. Lock it in. So yeah. the boom doesn't. Yeah. And how do you yeah. like to, to put it on the trailer with the, the bucket down? We'll try to get, yeah, we'll, we'll want to try to get it low, low so as low yeah. as we can yep. and flat it out. Extend it out a little Yeah, bit. we'll see how much um, deck you have and then we'll just go okay. from there and see where the weight distribution's and you, you can at. And teach us how to chain it down and yeah. so it's nice and secure. Yep. We haven't hauled this much before, so. No, Andre, you'll Andre, Andre you, get to use your, you get to use your CDL for the first time. Yes. For real, yeah, for real this time. Yeah, it's got some length to it. <laughs> How long's your trailer? 
Let me go check. Okay. <laughs> I saw your setup. <laughs> hey, believe it or not, I've seen guys with a lot smaller rigs haul these. Yeah. Unfortunately. So. Well, you always want to be safe, right? Yeah. So, 100%, so, so yeah. the bigger the rig, the yeah, more the overhead you have, yeah. the better, of course. So. Yeah. But so. around 4,500 is plenty of truck for this. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I seen a guy tow one of these all the way to South Dakota with a, a three-quarter ton Dodge. Yikes! Ooh, Ooh I, that's what I said. Hey, TFL truck does not recommend that. <laughs> I didn't think. I, I said, dude, are you serious? He's like, yep. We I've don't, done it before. We, we will not condone that kind of. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of overage. <laughs> it was a snowstorm too. Oh, okay. <laughs> he barely got out of the parking lot. Okay. If you guys are looking for something, you want to support the channel, and you want to support us, give these guys a call. Alan and the gang here are wonderful, and uh, yeah, we're really appreciative of uh, the fact that we can do this uh, and do it, you know, economically because otherwise we'd be way beyond our pay right. grade. So, dude, yeah, it works out. It's a great partnership. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Yeah. So, are you gonna know how to operate this thing? Well, I'm gonna learn how. Okay. <laughs> There's the manual right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I tell the guys. <laughs> I've brought as big of a truck as I could on short notice. And this is thanks to our friend Jay Couch at CouchOffRoad.com. He uses this big rig, well, Ram 4500 to uh, bring some parts and or his Unimog four-wheel drive vehicles or some other vehicles. Uh, so this truck uh, has a lot of capability. Let me show you exactly what we have. This is actually a fairly new Ram truck. It's a 2021. Of course, it has a 6.7 liter straight six diesel. But because this is technically a medium duty chassis cab Ram, it does not have the same rating as you would see in a one ton dually truck. Uh, the power ratings and the torque ratings are a little bit lower, about 360 horsepower, about 800 pound-feet of torque, because the emissions and the regulations and other um, configurations require different ratings. But it has a very heavy duty, check it out, Ison Transmission, ASRC. Uh, you can see the dipstick on the driver's side right here, that's how you know. Engine oil is right here. Um, this truck has about 3,200 miles on it, so it's pretty much brand new and I checked everything. I inspected it thoroughly. You won't find an eight lug wheel here. This is a 10 lug hub, very heavy duty, aluminum Alco wheels, 19 and a half diameter wheel, and of course, really heavy duty Hankook tires to carry a lot of load and a lot of weight. Uh, of course, single here uh, in the front and dualies in the back. This has a customized flat bed here, very nice, very shiny. Uh, J couch also put an additional fuel tank up here in the bed. As you can see, lights, because they go off-road quite a lot at couchoffroad.com, uh, this rig is prepared to do recovery at any time of day or night. Uh, and then let's check out this trailer because that's the important part today. We're using a Big Tex trailer today, really heavy duty. Of course, it's about eight and a half feet wide but the deck itself is about eight foot one inch so that should be plenty uh, this is Jay's ramps up here so if we need to move these we will and let's check the length okay so here on the deck not counting the ramp it's about 24 feet and of course once the machine is on here we can flip the ramps back up and maybe put the bucket down here and tie it down I believe this ramp and the dovetail here should be about four feet. Well, actually, it's a little bit longer. It's about five and a half feet here. So overall, this is about a 30 foot long trailer. I think it should work. Safety is paramount when you're carrying heavy trailers and heavy loads. Uh, this morning I made sure, oh, I checked all the tire pressures including the trailer and it of course it has dually set up here in the back as well and yeah that took a while, it took me about half an hour to fill each tire to appropriate pressure so it can take some time but it's really really important. Here we go. The 
They're spring loaded. Nice. Okay, that was relatively smooth. What do you think, Roman? I think uh, I'm gonna let you drive, Andre. <laughs> That's what I you don't wanna drive this? No. That's a big boy. Uh, hey, David. Can you lift the bucket up and move forward another half a foot? A little more? Okay, good. Now set it down. That's nine, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. So what's the deck? So what's the deck? You want to measure the deck? Uh, the deck is uh, three feet two. It's not even three feet. So we're good. Yeah. It's, it's three feet right there. That's three feet. So three plus nine. Yeah. yeah. We're we're about twelve. Yeah, twelve and a half. Yeah, exactly. So we have a foot of space, right? All right, let's get some chains, some binders, some heavy duty straps. Let's do this. It says a uh, gross vehicle weight 24. So if the trailer weighs about eight or a little bit, little bit less than that, then we have a payload uh, of what? 24 minus eight. 16 plus the way we work it is we move about 20% of that to the truck So that's how we balance out the weight and the truck is heavy duty. It's got air suspension as well. So I think we're near the maximum But uh, it's gonna work. Hey guys, welcome to Andre's trailer chat <laughs> Andre, thank you Roman. How big is this trailer? So how this, is, is, this is basically a 30-foot deck. Yep, and it's got of course a big gooseneck tongue hanging over the truck so yep. this is a massive trailer uh, it's maximum capacity gross vehicle weight yep it's about 24,000 pounds okay uh, this puppy what weighs about 22 exactly yeah, we did the math about the trailer 22. is about 8 yep that's 30 right so you're probably wondering uh, are we overweight are we overweight on this episode of trailer chat no we're not <laughs> you good. know why why because we're pushing at least 20 percent of the weight oh, of to the, the trailer truck. to, the, to truck. the truck okay because the truck has a lot of capacity and 20 percent of three thirty thousand it's about six thousand yep right yep so we're at 24 which 30 is, minus six which is the maximum this trailer can do David, check it out. Jay is prepared. He's got wow. a lot of straps. Wow, he's got chains, straps, everything. Binders, need. yes. This is all uh, one place shopping here. All right, so you can see it's those springs are pretty flat. It's on its overload springs. There's the airbag. We're gonna air it up a bit and take a little of the stress off the spring. Using chain to tie down the front bucket as well. That's good, actually. That's good. David, we almost made it to the Tumbleweed Ranch. How many miles we've been? 53 so far. Wow. It's a decent run. It is a pretty decent run. What are we getting for fuel mileage? Well, I'll show you in a second, but right now the trip meter says 8. 8, okay. You know, it got up as high as 9.7 on the highway. Right. But then, you know, climbing that hill and climbing up here, yep. it really killed us. You know what these big trucks are good for, these 45, 5500s? They're also payload. That's right. where they shine. Well, we got one big turn up here. 
it's almost a well, hairpin turn. Well, I've been thinking about this turn for the last 53 miles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> because this is going to be a challenge. Yeah. We don't want to be off camera. No, we don't, we don't want that back hook tilt me. So this will be a little tricky. So yeah, this, this is this where spooks me a little bit right here. Okay. All right, I'm shifting in four wheel drive. Okay. You're going to four low, four high. Four high. Okay. Okay. So. So you're gonna go way I'm past gonna, the turn. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna line up my shoulder past this turn because it's a it's a 180 degree. Yeah. And I'm gonna try to, you know, I also don't want to be on loose soil because I don't want to. It's binding a little bit. Four wheel drive. Good job. We're still alive. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that wasn't as bad as I no. was thinking. No. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm using all she's got, Captain. Oh, you're kidding. No. no Four low and your foot was all the way down? Almost. No, wow. not quite. Almost. <laughs> so the next right. challenge is to turn around in their yard, right? right? Without taking out a post. Yes, or a house. <laughs> right. Yeah, see this corner I'm worried about getting Yeah, this is in. one of the first corners, getting which is if trusses in here. I'm in the grass area. Are you? I'm in the grass a little bit. So I think we ought to just go park on the flat out here to get this thing off. What do you think? I would agree. I don't know if I can fit through that gate though. Do I have another foot here? You're good on this side. It'll be that corner over there that it'll, you'll have to watch out for. We're hitting the tree. Are we? At the top. I cleared it, David. Good. Nice driving, Andre. Should I just leave it here? Yeah. On this gravel? Right. It's a good level spot to unload, don't you think? All right, guys, before we figure out how we're going to get this out of here, because we, we could have just dropped it off where the you know rocks were. Um, yes. Now you got to either back up or you know go in the field and make a big... U turn. I gotta be honest, I thought we were getting one of those little mini excavators, you know. So when I walked into their facility and I saw that, I almost passed out. So I, you know what I mean? The little guys, you know, they're a little bit bigger than a skid steer. They're yeah. really cute. Yeah, yeah, nice little, nice little, yeah, that, uh, that, that, little that, Somehow I had that in my brain and not that. But, but, but that almost barely fits underneath a bridge on the highway. Well, it barely fit on the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I've been in a big logging truck before, yeah. taking a, a whole load of logs up in the mountains before. But, I mean, Andre's got a CDL, yeah. and for pulling this much weight, I was really impressed with his abilities today. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Hey, we're going to be glad we have that much weight, because what we got to do, uh, Roman, is yeah. we've got to we've got to not only dig the soil and yeah. flatten it out, but we need to compact it. So I think the weight of this machine <laughs> is going to come in real handy. So, so this is why we have it. So here's where the barn's going to go. And the topography kind of rolls down. How many feet did you figure? Ten out? feet. Ten feet from the top to the bottom. And I guess you could build a barn like that, but it wouldn't be <laughs> ideal. Uh, no. <laughs> no. So we got to move a, a lot, lot of dirt. dirt. Yeah. A lot of yeah. dirt. We got to make a flat spot. Yeah. And it's got to be flat enough for both the barn and the driveway, the yeah. concrete pad, and a little room to maneuver. So it's going to be a big space. So how long? Using that, do you think it's going to take you to, to do all that work? I have no idea, Roman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad you're paying. All right, David, uh, now that we got the uh, real machine here, right? Uh, what do you want to do? You want to try digging a little bit? Well, we started digging with the skid steer here yeah. and we hit this rock. Yeah, exactly. Then we got our post hole digger. Yep. We did test holes everywhere. You can, still, you can see those right here. That's not a gopher hole, by the way. If it were a gopher hole, it'd be like the world's biggest gopher. Yeah. I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave the rock. Okay, leave the rock. We don't want to hit the rock. A and we know that the rock goes down quick. Yep. And then this is all dirt. Yep. So I think we're going to leave the ridge line and we're going to start digging here and just make us a flat spot out here. But isn't the barn going down there? Yeah. Yeah. But we got to start digging here. Okay. Because we need all this dirt from here. I see. I get we it. We have to take all this dirt from here and have something to put over there to make it flat. So, so, so let's see. So excavate. Yeah. 
excavate, excavate, push. Push. Is that how we do it? Exactly. All right. All right. Well, let, let's so, let's just give it a shot. See okay. how it, see how it goes. All right. All right, David. Look at this. Look, long before people put uh, floor mats in the cars. Look at the look at that floor. That's mat. a heavy duty floor That's mat. That's a heavy duty floor mat. Yeah. So you understand all these controls. That's a wiper. <laughs> that's wiper fluid. Okay. Uh, that's a hazard. And, and that's head, your lights. Headlights. Right, and I think this is your turn signal. Oh, sweet. So you have you have a turn signal. So that is the extent of my knowledge. <laughs> okay, here's our key. Okay, here's our key. And this is our parking brake. Okay. It's an electronic parking brake. Yep. Okay. And then these have to do with the lights in the back. Okay. Uh, Up and down in your seat. The seat, yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. I haven't tried that one yet. Yeah, what's this one doing? Uh, this is your bucket. Okay. And lift your bucket and tilt your bucket. Okay. That then, seems pretty straightforward. Then if you want to go use the backhoe, how does that work? So you got to flip your chair around, okay. which you grab right here, yeah. release, and then you spin all the way around. Okay. And then you've got you got to release your bucket right here. Yeah. And then these operate your bucket back and forth, or side to side, tilt. These put your outriggers down. Okay. So yep. put those down. Do you need those when you're just doing digging, or is that? Oh yeah, yeah. always. Always. Okay. Yep. Otherwise, your bucket, your bucket will just keep pulling you where you're going. It's okay. that strong. All right. So these keep you in in your space. And then over here, you've got your climate control. So you've got air conditioning and heat. Yeah. Which is pretty badass. Uh, fan speed, I get. Uh, this is I don't know what that. This is our throttle. Oh, that's your throttle. So okay. depending on how much throttle we want when we're digging. Yeah. We can adjust it right there. All right. And our gauges for our temperature and our fuel. So, so compared to the skid steer, we're missing uh, a heated seat. <laughs> all right, I'll let, you, I'll let you go at it. Good luck. All right, let's all give right, it a try. All right, uh, keep it, you know, wheels down. Okay. <laughs> Buck it down. Just what we suspected. Yeah, we're hitting rock. David, you hit rock bottom. I did. It got hard, real hard, right yeah, there. Right there, that's the rock. Yep. Well, and that's what we found. I mean, we only got down a, a foot or two when we were digging there. Right, right. And we got down about two or three feet, and then by the time we moved over there, we didn't hit anything. Okay. So I think we're just—it's going to be a, a gradual slope that needs to be anyway, right? Until we get to our flat, and then we'll. So. I'll be anxious to see when I dig here. Let's dig a little bit right here yeah. and see if it gets further down. Yeah, let's see if I, uh, okay. Because we need four feet, right, or more? Yeah, we need to well, well, more. four feet. If we can dig four feet here and put four feet there, then I think we'll be good. Right okay. now we're digging about maybe three feet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I brought my uh, I brought a torch. Yeah. Because I think I found some shale oil down there. You did? Uh huh. Really? It's really black stuff. Wait, wait. Shale oily. oil, the stuff that they're all fighting about in Canada. Exactly. Hey, yeah. You could be a millionaire, and not even know it. <laughs> I don't think we own the mineral rights. So I brought my torch, <laughs> and I thought I'd light it and see if it burns. Yeah. If it does, uh, don't put this on camera. Bad news, but there's also good news, David. Yeah, it's the, good. The good news is we hit rock, but it's, it was much deeper. Yeah, it's getting deeper. Yeah, right, right there. There it is. So, so it, it is going sloping down. Because I think we'll start the barn, like over here, maybe 20 more feet, 10, 15 more feet, and that'll be deep enough. Well, guys, welcome to groundbreaking and the end of this episode. Next time on Taming Tumbleweed. We're gonna do a lot more out here uh, and play with these big boy toys, right? We're gonna put you in the driver's seat and see how you try? deal with the controls. Yeah, I'd love to try. I would love to try. Let's all right, go for we'll, it. we'll do it next time. Okay. Okay, all right, see you next time, ciao.
All right, so today, I think we're gonna take down this round pin. We don't have any horses on the property, right? And it'd be easy to remake this round pin, but what, what we do need, we do need these posts, because we ran out of posts for the new, what, crossover course that we're making down at the bottom of the hill. It's more of a challenge than I thought. Come on, Cadillac. Oh, no, you did roll. You get to go to Moab, I get to work. Oh, that sounds, I have to edit that out. That makes it sound like we're terrible people. <laughs> Maybe he'll be coming tomorrow to rescue us, actually, after all. I'll be available. All right. Okay. <laughs>